Hey everybody, Ashton here with Gen Sense and my wife Chelsea back yet again. Today's video is brought to you by Notino.com. They actually sent me Noble Leather by Yves Saint Laurent for review and I decided to do something a little bit different. So here's what we're going to do. I have 10 fragrances in front of me that are leather based. Most of them have leather in the name, but I had to fudge it a little bit. I couldn't get exactly everything to have leather in the name, but they're still leather based fragrances. So the way we've got this set up is we have five that are more expensive and five that are less expensive. They're going to go head to head and then she's going to pick a winner from each one. So for example, Tuscan Leather is on the more expensive side. Supreme Leather by Ralph Lauren is on the less expensive side. We'll go head to head, you'll pick the winner, so on and so forth. And then at the end, we'll see whether the less expensive or more expensive side of leather fragrances won. So here we go. So first off, we will just go with Tuscan Leather against Supreme Leather. So Tom Ford versus Ralph Lauren. This is Tuscan Leather. That's the dry down, that's the opening. Check that one out. Definitely a leathery scent. The opening smells, um, it's not as strong leather as the dry down. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> and this All is Supreme leather. leather, so this is what you're going to be comparing <laughs> that against. This is the dry down. Okay. And that's the opening. Okay. I like this one better. Do you? This dry down smells really good, actually. Yeah. I like this dry down better. That was better. quick. Tuscan Leather, I'm surprised you didn't say anything about it, gets compared to cocaine all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little funny. Um, no, I just really smell leather and smelling like cocaine this time. Great. But yeah, no, I think I like uh, I think I like that one a little bit more. So you, you like? I like Supreme Leather a little bit more than I like the other one. What was the Tom Ford one called? Tuscan Leather. Tuscan Leather. I like Supreme Leather a little bit more than Tuscan Leather. I don't know. It's just like maybe just a little bit. I don't know. The dry down just smells a little bit better. So for the first matchup, the less expensive side one with Supreme Leather. All right, so uh, here's the second matchup. It's going to be Alexander J Western Leather Black against Ferrari Leather Essence. So this is Western Leather, Western Leather Black. A manly leather fragrance. The opening smells a little bit, a little bit different than the dry down, but it's you can definitely still smell that leather coming through. That's for sure. Yeah, it's a strong you, one. How do you like it? It's pretty good. I mean, it's definitely manly. This is Leather Essence by Ferrari. Hmm, I really like that dry down. Feel that leather, so soft. Oh yeah, it is. I think I'm gonna have to go with the cheapie again. Leather Essence by I Ferrari. Swear. Yeah, the dry down. I mean, I like the opening a little bit better on the other one, but the dry down, which is what lasts longer and everybody smells more, yeah. is actually a little bit better on that one. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to have to go with that this one. This one is, I think, the, the cheapest one out of all of them. So. Yeah, I like the dry down a so little bit better. So the cheapies are up two to nothing. And like I said, I did like the opening on the other one a little bit more, but. All right, so in our third matchup, the expensive ones need to catch up here. We have Atelier Cologne Gold Leather going for the more expensive side against Varvedos Dark Rebel for the cheaper side. So this is gold leather. So this is the expensive one, right? Yes. That dry down smells really good. The opening is... I don't know, what am I smelling in that opening? It's not leather. I mean, a lot of what you get in the dry down is leather. Yeah, it's really sweet. Which is kind of surprising. This dark rebel. That opening's a little smoky. <laughs> yeah. That's some, it smells like a campfire almost. Mm, I like that one. God, this one's a hard one because they both smell really good. Um, is this the most difficult? This is probably the most so difficult pairing. I'm gonna have to go with the cheapy again. I think this is probably gonna end up being <laughs> one of my favorites. You think so? I think so, yeah. I'm, I feel like that's gonna be in my top three. Well, I really like the smokiness of the opening and the dry down when the smokiness wears off. It yeah. smells really good. Okay, so the cheapies have already won, but we still have two more matchups to go. There is no drama. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they've already won. <laughs> no. So for our fourth matchup, here you go. We have Noble Leather by Yves Saint Laurent. That's what you have now. Going up against Mugler Pure Leather. Ooh, I love that opening. Mm, that's such a good opening. The dry down's good too, but that opening is awesome. Here is pure leather. Well, I know the winner of that one. It's 
It's not the cheap one. <laughs> Pure leather lost <laughs> pretty easily. <laughs> Pure leather lost. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really have much good to say about that one, really. Brutal. <laughs> Noble <laughs> Leather has defeated Pure Leather. Yeah, that one was a little, little funky. A little too funky for me. So going into this, I kind of had an idea of what the favorites were. Like, I already had a, a good idea of what I thought would come in the top three, so I guess I'll see if it works out that way. This last matchup is Mancera Wild Leather against Carolina Herrera Privé. This is wild leather. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this is CH Privé. Okay. Yeah. I'll just go with this. <laughs> Pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go with this. I G figured as much. That one, I was like, yeah, there's a 0% think, chance that wild leather would I think this. it's going to take a really special person to really, really enjoy that, especially a female. I mean, it's going to take. Wild leather, you mean? Yeah. I think it's gonna. That's gonna probably be a fragrance that um, I would imagine fragrance lovers like, because you know they have a more developed nose. But as far as just your normal average women, that, you know, are smelling a man, and you know if it smells good or bad, I'm gonna say that 90% of women are gonna, you know, they're gonna say no, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So that means the expensive fragrances, only one of them won and four of the cheaper ones were victorious. So, out of all of these, you tell me your three favorite. It, it can be any of them, just whatever. Okay, so after re-smelling everything again, and then re-smelling some more, um, she came up with her top three, and an honorable mention. Yep. So honorable mention was Polo Supreme Leather. This one is actually one of my favorite leather fragrances. Mm -hmm. This made a few of my top 10 lists, so I like that one a lot. I mean, for a less expensive one, I mean, it smelled really good. Yeah, you get a nice big 4.2 ounce bottle and there's some spices in here that kind of mix with the leather, so it's not really like a dark, stanky leather or anything. Yeah, it's, it's more not, spicy than it is leathery. It's not like a harsh leather fragrance. It's still gonna get, like, I would still give that a compliment. So it's not gonna come across as one that you're like, whoa, that is a manly scent that's gonna, you know, um, appease about 10% of the population. I mean, that's, I mean, that's still gonna give you compliments, so. And then the third was Carolina Herrera CH Privé, which has that dope kind of flask bottle. Uh, this one's a little bit sweet as well. Mm -hmm. It's like a sweet leather. It's not, again, a harsh leather at all. And this one, before we did this, uh, in my head, was one of the favorites to win. Like, these two were probably, in my head, the favorites. If I had to, uh, subconsciously think what was going to win. Yeah, you kind of got it right. And then second, she actually picked Yves Saint Laurent Noble Leather, which I was not 100% expecting that one. Um, but I, I guess on second thought, like looking at the expensive ones that I picked out, this one, Tuscan Leather and Gold Leather, probably the ones it's that I It's not as harsh there. as the other ones, yeah. Yeah, this one has uh, saffron, it has some vanilla in here. So as far as the expensive ones go, it's, it's really not as harsh. And I mean, it's, it smells really good. And then the one that she actually picked as the winner is Varvados Dark Rebel. That one smelled, I mean, it smelled really good. So I'm actually a big fan of Varvados fragrances in general. I think that they all smell really, really, really nice. Um, the big knock against them is the performance is usually so-so. But the way they smell, I can't think of one Varvados fragrance that I dislike the way that it smells. So. Yeah, I mean, as far as leathers go, that's probably a, a crowd pleaser, I'd, I'd guess. Yeah, th this one is kind of like a masculine leather fragrance, but at the same time, it's not overwhelming or grating yeah. or anything like that. So it gets the job done on a masculine level, yeah, but, but it's, it's still, still accessible. Yeah, and, and women are still going to be like, oh, okay, yeah, no, I don't want to stand 10 feet away from it. And me. it's pretty cheap. Yeah, it's like, even better. You can get a, a big bottle of this for... Uh, like, I'm telling you right now, bucks. if I ran across somebody wearing this, I'd probably want to be at least 10 feet away from them. Especially you probably if, have to be, too, because it's pretty strong. Yeah. I mean, especially if they went and sprayed, like, five sprays <laughs> on, it would have to be overwhelming. I mean, I'd probably end up with a headache or something. Yeah. All right, so that was Chelsea giving her take on some leather fragrances. Now, all of these I know you can pick up at Notino. Other than pure leather, I looked on the website. For whatever reason, it's not there right now. I know I've seen it in the past, but right now it's not there. But yeah, like usual, if you're looking for discounted fragrances, make sure to check Notino out. They have a good selection of niche and designer fragrances for you. So that was Chelsea giving her take on some leather fragrances. Leather is one of my favorite, favorite notes. <laughs> but um, 
you have to get the right leather fragrance. You don't want to get one that's too funky or else people aren't going to like you. It has to be the right combination. You got to get the right leather. So as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll do another video soon for Valentine's Day. Yep. Probably. Where she's going to pick out her favorite Valentine's fragrances. She did that last year. People seem to like it. She can do it again this year with some of the new fragrances that I got in the old collection. I'm already thinking of at least two. She's already thinking of at least two. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time.